positive news off the pitch, uh, which is, of course, financial stability. Uh, a loss of only £10,000 between June 2015 and June 2016 uh, has been announced, which is a reduction of 74000 from the previous year. Um, first and foremost, what a saving that is. I mean, if I could save 74 k in a year, I'd, well, I wouldn't be sitting in Titchfield Park talking to this camera. I'd be on a beach somewhere. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, you just see the Rapids again. I mean, ever since they've come in, they've been wonders for this club, and, you know, it's fantastic. I mean, you think how much money they're spending on the players' wages and bringing Steve Evans in. and I mean, the club going forward, it just excites you, really. And, you know, I've heard as well there's talk of Bishop Street being sorted as well when the attendance to go up. So it's nice. too many positive steps, isn't it? Fair take, fair play to the Rapids again. Certainly, as I'm just about to get stung by a wasp here, this is nice. Hello, Mr. <laughs> Wasp, goodbye. Uh, that's fun. Yeah, <laughs> I've lost all composure now. Actually, yes. With that amount of money, though, when you look at what they've actually done at the club as well, like, it's, it's a massive amount. And you think, obviously, they've re Obviously, it's not so much counting now, but. Just the improvements to the ground, obviously like Sandy Peat Bar, that had a massive uplift, was it last year? Mm. And without the, that seventy-four, you know, thousand pound saving, you know, things like that wouldn't have been able to, to make happen. No. Uh, I think one thing we need to, to get clear here and I want to sort of get it out there as well is a lot of people slated Adam Murray for some of the players he brought in and you know some of the football he played. But let's be honest here, you know if we look at this on paper. June 2015 to June 2016, who was the manager? Adam Murray. Yeah. To me, this says that Adam Murray had no transfer budget because yeah. where's the one area where you make savings on as a football club? Transfer budget. Yeah. So if you look at, at that now, you're looking, you know, if you're in the 26 players in, in that time frame, three of which were from the, the youth team, all of which were on free transfers and, and got rid of 17 players, some of which were for money, Ali Palmer, uh, Nathan Thomas to name uh, but a couple of those as well. How good of a job did Murray do in, in being able to bring us in players who were still capable, were still decent players, they weren't off the scrappy, mm. but had his hands tied in terms of finances, you've got to give him some credit right? Yeah, you've got to for that, because I can imagine if you look at the budget next year when it comes out, it won't be, it would be nice if it was even, but with the amount of money we spent this year. Well, he didn't. We say he didn't bring in rubbish players. It's like he brought in Ollie Palmer from lower leagues, but he had a proven record. Obviously, didn't work out for us. But yeah, he, he's done pretty well. I'd say that he, and he's got quite a few good connections. A few other clubs as well, which I think is a big advantage as well, because you can get them cheap loan deals, can't you? Yeah, certainly so. Which helps us out. And I think, I think as well. Do you think that it might change the opinion on Murray a little bit? Sort of, you know. If, if people look at this on paper and now realise, well, hang on a minute, Murray was the manager in that time. Yeah. It, it, it was the end of the Paul Cox era, so there was, you know, there was a little bit of money, no doubt, which would have had to pay to Paul Cox to finish his contract off as well. Yeah. There's those little things which I guess sometimes, you know, when you're watching in the stand, you don't think about. No, I don't suppose you do. You just base it on resource model, anything, don't you? Um, but no, I think again, any manager that's got the hands tied behind the back, really well funding, and you know, definitely. I mean, I've never really looked at it like that myself, to be quite honest with you. It was a surprise for me, to be fair. But never... Yeah, I was, I was just going to say on that, you, just, you mentioned that you've never looked at it like that yourself. Does it perhaps put things into a bit more perspective from you? Do you, do you now, do you now realise, do you now perhaps think, well, that's why we didn't go and sign a, a, an out-and-out -out striker, or that's why we didn't pay big money for that player yeah, when it became available? It does in all honesty. I mean, the thing is, it did, it did the best with what it's got. I don't think it could have done any more better than what it did with it.